Hello guys, I am Mukul from Sandys.com and welcome to your second Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you your very first Java program. In Java, every program begins with a class. Class represents a piece of your program. Although a small program may just need a single class. In order to write class, we first write the word class and then we write the name of the class. Here the class name is cell phone. It could be anything. Now this color base represents the starting of class and this represents the ending of class. Inside class we have methods. We can have one or more method and in here we write our method. We cannot write method outside these curly braces as they should be within our class. For instance, inside class cell phone, we have a method void phone call. Inside method, we have rewrite instruction for how method should perform. Now this curly brace represents the starting of method and this represents the ending of method. All the instruction should be written inside these curly braces. For method phone call, we have instruction like pick your phone dial number start conversation each instruction in java ends with semicolon semicolon basically tells the compiler you are at the end of statement or instruction this is the basic layout of java program first we have class and inside class we have methods and inside methods we have instruction for how method should perform. Let's take another example. For that we need a new class. In order to create a new class, go to file, new, class. Give any name to your class. I am going to name it gun. Click default and then finish. Now we have class gun. Inside class gun we have method like void shoot arman meta inside this method we will have instruction to shoot arman meta like pick your gun load bullets shoot him now let's create a program that would print steps to shoot arman meta public static void main and inside main string args this is the main method in java every program starts with a method called main the main is where our program starts running in java we need one main method at starting of our program here main is the name of the method public allow other classes to use this method static means only class can call for this method to execute void means it does not return any value now this is here because every main method must accept array of string objects if you don't understand what these means leave it for now and write as it is we will let we will talk later about all these in details and remember main method is where our program starts running and we need one main method at starting of our program now this is same as shoot arman midda now in here we are going to give instruction to print steps to shoot arman midda system dot out dot print Pick your gun system dot out dot print load bullets system dot out dot print Him. 
Here, print is a built-in method. It would print these instructions on the screen. Anything written between these double quotation would print as is. Now you would be saying, if print can print these instructions, how come we need system dot out? Actually, print is very versatile method. It can print to database, print to network, but now we just want to print it to our system. This statement would print pick your gun. This would print load bullets and this would print shoot him. Let's run the program. Okay, everything works fine. Pick your gun, load bullets, shoot him. I want to point out one more thing. Here we have written each instruction in separate line. But in our output, everything is in same line. Now what print do is it print this instruction and does not move cursor to the next line. So the second instruction would be printed just after the first one. In order to print each instruction in separate line, we need to use print ln instead of print. Now what it's gonna do is firstly it will print this instruction and then move cursor to the next line. So this would be printed in a new line. Let me show you. Okay as I told you. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.